So after three years, a little over three years, I'm finally filming a video. I've promised this video on social media for so long, um, but I finally feel ready to talk to you guys and just let you know where I've been, what's new, what's changed, what's different, what's the same um, since my last video. So I'm, I'm literally just like winging it. I have no script or anything like that. I'm just going to talk. Um, so let's see. In the past three years, I have started a new job. Um, I've been working for the company that I work for for a little over three years. So I think, I think that's part of the reason why I stopped filming. I think when I got this job, I just like was really into it and I like was like, okay, let me give all my energy to this job and like, that's it. I really wanted to like focus because I really cared about it and I really wanted to like do something. I didn't want to just have like a job, I wanted to have like a career. I think I have found that in my company, in my job. Um, so yeah, for the past three, a little over three years, I've um, had a job. I don't want to. I don't want to say what, what it is, what it is, or where it is. Um, if you follow me on social media, you can find out. But I, I'm not ready to talk about it in a video yet or anything like that. But that's what I've been doing. So that's kept me really busy. Um, I, like I said, I've kind of gave it my all when I started working there, and I've done really well. Um, I've had a couple, pretty much. I think I've been promoted a few times in the past three years. So like I said, it's been really good for me and it was a great thing to give my energy to. I think when I was filming videos a lot more consistently, I didn't have a lot going on in my life. I wasn't in school. My jobs were constantly changing and I really wanted to find something to like throw myself into and like really give all my energy to. So I found that with my job and so that's kept me really busy for the past three years. Uh, excuse me. It is in retail. It is, which is what I love. A lot of people and like coworkers I've had still kind of talk kind of negatively about working in retail. Um, I know that for me, when I started working in retail, when I was 15, 16, um, and when I started to find out like what merchandising was and how essentially merchandising is a visual, the visual part of the business that increases sales and kind of, you increase sales by visuals and merchandising and like that whole relationship really like interested me and I really wanted to see like how I could affect that like what could I do to a store visually to make it make more money like that whole dynamic thing really interested me so I really kind of like fell in love with retail and I really do believe that if nothing else like I'll work in retail for probably the rest of my life and I'm okay with that because I really enjoy it it's not for everybody but it's definitely for some people and I think I'm one of those people. When I was younger, I always felt like happiest. And like when anything was going crazy with like school or my friends or family, like I always felt like if I went to a store, not even shopping, I didn't, I didn't have to have money. I could maybe like go to the mall, go to the food court, eat and just like walk around and like go into stores. It always made me really happy and gave me a lot of peace, which is kind of strange. I know most people like hate it and it's stressful. But I also was like smart enough to like go in the morning time before it got busy and not on the weekends. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me career-wise. Um, I started a Tumblr that I am pretty active on and have kept up with. It's just my name, nicosisneros.tumblr.com. So that's pretty good. I think even when I stopped filming videos, I didn't even have an Instagram at the time. I think because I had a Blackberry or something. I had some kind of phone that didn't even have Instagram. So I didn't have Instagram. But obviously since then I've gotten an iPhone. So follow me on social media. Um, Nico Cisneros. Obviously there's links in the bio. So yeah, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Facebook is personal. So don't add me on Facebook. <laughs> but you can follow me on Tumblr and whatnot. So, and I do stay pretty active on all of them. Um, Instagram, I don't post a lot, but when I do, I try and make it good 
been worth your while. I really just use it kind of like as a creative thing. It's not like I post everything I do every day. Like I might not even post a picture for like a week, but yeah, so that's been going on. Um, I moved. I used to live with my parents in the suburbs of Atlanta where I grew up. I lived in that house since I was like five years old. Um, I'm now 26. I turned 26 a month ago. And for about a year and a half, I lived on my own in Midtown, Atlanta. That's where I, my apartment is. Um, I moved out initially with an ex-boyfriend that I was in a relationship with. We moved um, in together and then we broke up about halfway through living together and then he moved to New York and then I got a roommate and then when that lease was over I moved into where I live now which is this place which maybe if I keep doing videos I'll show you guys around sometime. It's nice. My obviously like when I walked in or like my number one thing when I was like looking for an apartment was like it has it cannot have brown like I hate brown cabinets I hate brown countertops I hate brown carpet I don't like the color brown I just started to like wearing the color brown I definitely don't like the color brown unless it's like wood like real wood but like I hate I just hate like brown kitchens the whole thing so when I was looking for an apartment I was like it just can't be brown and I found this place and has gray carpet all the walls came gray the kitchen has white cabinets with like a black and white mosaic backsplash the countertops are gray the bathroom and the kitchen have gray hardwood floors so it's great I really like it. I live with my, I live with my best friend who I've known since third grade um, me him and his dog live here but he's not he's not here that often because he has a boyfriend um, I currently don't have a boyfriend, if any of you are asking. I haven't had a boyfriend since I broke up with the one who I lived with. Um, I haven't really even... That's been it's, been... it's been like a year since that happened. I, so I've been single for like a year. Um, which has been good. It's been like a good getting to know me again year, I think. Because I think before I met my ex-boyfriend, I had like really got to know myself and like learned to love myself and accept being single and like... The whole, like, if you don't love yourself, how are you going to love somebody else? Like, that whole thing. Like, I went through that, and I felt like I was in a good place, like, really open and ready for a relationship. And so when I met him, I felt like I was in the right place mentally to, like, be in a relationship. And so I was. And then we were together for a year, and then when we broke up a year ago, I kind of had to do that process again a little bit and, like, learn to be single and happy and okay and alone. And that whole thing, and really, like, figure out what you want again, I think... You know, I think I wanted, I thought I wanted one thing when I met him and then was with him. And then since we've broken up, I think I've realized I want something else or not even something else. But I think just every relationship you're in that doesn't work out. I think you come away from it thinking like, or realizing that maybe one or two more things that like, you know, you need in the next person. And you just keep on kind of like looking for those things or maybe adding those things until you find the right person. But I'm still also open to, like, anybody. I don't know. I have a very um, open heart, so. Yeah. That's what's going on in the love department. I did, I was talking to this guy, which is the craziest story, and I'll have to do a separate video to really get into it. But I was talking to this guy that lives in London, and he was fucking crazy. So that didn't work out. I hope he watches this video. <laughs> um... What else is going on? Yeah, I don't style anymore. I was styling when I used to film my old videos. And I think, like filming videos, when I started my new job, I was just, like, not into it anymore. And also, especially today, I mean, three years ago, it was bad. But I know even today, it's worse. The stylist kind of market in Atlanta is very, very oversaturated. Um, I think everybody that likes fashion, thinks they're a stylist, and it's just not the case. Um, I just felt like I was really, I mean, and I still am kind of open to it if it's right, and I've done shoots within the past year, 
Um, but yeah, it just really has to be like with the right photographer, the right kind of concept. It really has to like speak to me and like my aesthetic. I'm not, I'm really not interested in doing something that like, I'm really not interested in doing something that isn't for me just to do it, especially if they're not paying you. And like when I first started styling, like I wasn't getting paid. I was really just trying to do it because I loved it. And I was like, oh yeah, let's do it. I'm going to like get the experience and then eventually start a portfolio and then get paid for it. And in Atlanta, it's just like not the case because there's so many people who will do that shit for free that like, why would they pay you? You know what I mean? You really have to be like worth it to get a check for it. Um, and it just, I don't know that it was really something that I was really passionate about. Like I said, I'm really passionate about like retail and like that business. And I'm not as passionate about like being a stylist. Like even nowadays when people like ask for my opinion, I'm like, I don't know, like that's, this is what I like. If you don't like it, I don't know. Like, cause I think as a stylist, you really have to like mix what you like with like what your client likes and really like marry it and like find looks that like, um, you know, both of you might have to make sacrifices to, like, come to the right, come to, like, a, a happy medium and, like, get looks together. But I'm not really into that. I'm like, no, I don't like it. And this is what I do, like, so. Yeah, even friends. I don't even, like, style my friends like I used to because I just don't care. I was just, like, worried about myself and that's it. Like, if I look good, I don't care what you wear. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's been going on. I mean, just so much stuff. I feel so much. I feel like I'm in such a different space than I was three years ago when I was filming videos. Even when I started filming, and I know, like, it's like a whole legit, like, business now. Like, being a YouTube guru or a YouTuber. I don't even know what they call it anymore. Um, I know I started doing it a long time ago. I don't want to say, like, I'm one of the originals, because I'm definitely not. I was no... I, Nowhere near the amount of success that a lot of people do. But I think maybe with guys I was um, one of the originals. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's like so many people who do it do it, and do it very well. And that's another reason why I think I stopped doing it. Because I was like, okay, like I make videos. But a lot of other people are starting to make videos. And they make them very well. They're like very thought out. They don't just, like, sit in front of the camera and talk. They, like, go out and, like, do things on location and, like, edit the videos amazingly and have, like, all these graphics. And it's, like, they're, like, super talented, like, video editors and creators and creatives. Um, and I just felt like, yeah, that wasn't, like, what I was into or, like, willing to do. But I do like connecting with everybody. Like, still, there's so many subscribers that, like, reach out to me on Twitter, on Instagram, it's on Facebook. The whole thing and I've kept in touch with them over the last three years and I that's what I love the most about this and I really just like having a place to come and like talk it's really fun um Twitter's great you know it's, te it's like text and it's limited Instagram's great but it's pictures this is great it's video you know what I mean and it's not like there's like a time limit I can literally talk for as long as I want about whatever I want and then have a dialogue with you guys about whatever we want to talk about and can ask me questions and I can respond to it and you can just get to know me and hopefully like I can tell stories and they'll help somebody or somebody can relate to me and be like oh my god I went through that too or I'm going through that too or I didn't know what to do about this but hearing you maybe gave me some answers or some help so that's really the goal with all of this YouTube stuff um yeah just to connect with you guys have conversations about important things not trying to change the world, maybe just change a few people. Um, what else? I don't know. Like I said, so much has changed. I feel so different um, than I did three years ago. 26 and 23 has been like a big difference. Um, Definitely just feel like grown. I feel like a real adult. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I don't. I like it the most when I can go to the grocery store and buy whatever I want. Cheetos and ice cream and beer and cookies. And nobody can stop me. And then I can come home to my own apartment and eat whatever I want. In my bed, on the couch, whatever. 
Um, but it's hard sometimes. Bills, going to work when you're tired or you're hungover, whatever. But I wouldn't change for the world. I wouldn't change where I am right now for anything. I'm very happy. I feel very blessed. I love my job. I love my friends. I have a place, roof over my head. And I have nice clothes and nice things. So, yeah, I'm happy. Um, but if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments section. Or if you want to get into conversations, just message me on Twitter. And we can talk. Um, hopefully, this gives all of you who have been waiting for me to post something a little relief. Um, sorry it took three years. But, yeah. Here you go. So, until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.